number one show that dominates cable news, The O'Reilly Factor. Thanks for staying with us in Bill O'Reilly in a personal story segment tonight. As we mentioned in the Talking Points memo, there's a war in this country over how to deal with terrorism, and some ideologues are simply out of control. Listen to far-left radio broadcaster Lynn Samuels. That Bush was able to look at the polls, look at Ned Lamont winning, right? Look at everything going on and saying, Tony, don't you think it's time to arrest these people and inconvenience people on their summer vacations, you know, that some people save up for all year? Don't you think it's time to, like, up everybody's life? Because it looks like uh, we're getting creamed here in November and this anti-war just won. It's, like, so obvious. Is there anybody who can't see what's going on here again? Tony is Tony Blair, she's referring to. We had to bleep out the curse words. With us now is Fox News analyst Ellis Hennigan and Democratic strategist Laura Schwartz. All right. Now, um, she is obviously out there. Mm -hmm. But there, the far left, Air America, said pretty much the same thing on their uh, band. Nobody listens to these people. I understand that. But it does get out on the blogs. It gets out different ways. Does that hurt? the Democratic Party and moderate liberals. I think it does, Bill. You know, I think the anti-war left and the right, for that matter, at this point, don't have to be whipped up. They're whipped up enough over Bush's failed policy in Iraq. And I think, especially for November, when we want to win the House back, we've got to do it together, united, as a Democratic Party going forward, especially for 2008, because if we're pulled to the left just to win the House in November, we're going to have a much harder time in 2008 right, So you, in you think that Samuels, Air America, these people, the conspiracy people who are now saying uh, that, you think this is all going to hurt the... It doesn't help us, and we don't need that kind of help right now all right. at what all. Do you, how do you see it, Alice? It's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I you, think you're making... Are you making fun of that poor woman? <laughs> it's obvious making, what's happening here. Are you here. making fun of that poor woman, Alice? <laughs> you're cruel. Bill, you're cruel. I think you might be making a little too much of this. Oh, I don't think I anybody is listening to Lynn Samuels. All due respect. It um, comes out. Listen, here's, here's the reality. There are, on both sides of the political spectrum, wax. And there are right-wing versions and left-wing versions. For some reason, you only seem to see with one eye on this thing. You can cite Lynn Samuels. I'll cite Newsmax and Free Republic and the wackadoos on the right-hand side. It's not fair. Well, you That's don't have any. No, no. Nobody pays attention to any of it. You don't have <laughs> anything that you can bring in on the right that even comes close Absolutely. to that. Absolutely. Have you ever heard of a guy named Michael Savage? Have you been oh, listening yeah. to him okay. lately? I mean, all right. He is the, he is the Lynn Samuels, except stop, his audience is 50 stop, times bigger. Stop for a minute. Ellis just had a good point. Thank you. <laughs> Ellis just beat me. Thank you. And I'm embarrassed. I have to leave. Uh, <laughs> all right. That is a good example, that, that there are guys on the right who will say, okay. you know, drop the atomic bomb. Uh, and let's, and, let's, and let's you and I, and, and all three of us, let's denounce all of it. Okay. Let's denounce but, all of but it. But here it is. We have a very serious situation where Americans might have been killed on jetliners. Mm -hmm. All right? And even the guy that you mentioned, he isn't saying anything irresponsible about this particular incident. Not that I know of. And we did transcript checks of everybody. Yet the far left continues to say conspiracy. Bush called up Tony. They cooked it. Uh, they want to, the World Trade Center was a Bush attack. He attacked his country. And it's coming almost exclusively from that area. Now, the overreaction on the far right, I understand your point. But here, I think, number one, President Bush will benefit from this terror attack in the polls. Dick Morris said it last night. And number two, if Lynn Samuels, you're right, nobody listens to her, but it gets out in the blogs. It gets in the blogs, and you've got to understand that. Yeah, here's, here's what let's do. Let's assume that there's, there's fringe on both sides. It mostly gets ignored. Sometimes it trickles in. But let's have an intelligent debate, and don't lump the editorial page of the New York Times in with Lynn Samuels, because they're making very right. different New York points, Times and you, in big can't, trouble now. you cannot equate the two of them. All right, San Francisco Chronicle, okay, that mainstream paper in your eyes? Yeah, All right, less. okay, then here's what they say. President Bush immediately tried to elbow his way in on the remarkable development of the terror plot. Mm -hmm. um, his claims of cooperation might have been more credible if he hadn't been on vacation. I mean, come on, come on. You guys not entitled to a vacation? Well, in fact, the first year he was in office, he took more vacation okay, than any other president no, ever did. Tomorrow, he was on top of this thing. We just talked to Tony Snow from Crawford. I mean, it's ridiculous. The, the San Francisco Chronicle just cheap shots it all day long. What and I, I, you know, look, here, here's my point, and you guys both should understand this point. In something as serious as this, where Americans could have been killed, mm -hmm. all right, I don't, think, I don't think liberals, I don't think moderates, I don't think conservatives want cheap 
shots from the San Francisco Chronicle and New York Times or anybody. No. No, and you, or Dick Cheney. Or from Dick Cheney. I mean, you or heard, did Cheney you notice, was Did you before. notice, by the way, the way that Tony Snow sidestepped your question he on that? He doesn't speak for mm -hmm. Cheney. And he says, oh, yeah, nor, nor, nor does any intelligent person. The guy Is blamed that a the cheap voters, shot against Cheney? The guy blamed the voters of Connecticut for being in league with Al-Qaeda. No, That's he just said that. And this was 24 hours That's before this came out yesterday, and he's been briefed on it for the last three weeks. Come on, denounce that, briefed too. Briefed on what? On the developing situation, he's been held in account. Okay, and there's in the no linkage at all. President. Look, I went on the broadcast and said people who voted for Led, Ned Lamont, I said, are helping out. Mm -hmm. No, but I hope you didn't say that. Are not are not fighting the terror war effectively because Ned Lamont doesn't know what well, what's you, going on. Be honest with us. Were you comfortable listening to the vice president equate the good Politics citizens of Connecticut? So, so you only mind it when it happens on no, the no, left. No, you don't I, mind I, it on yeah, the right. Howard Dean I did the same it. thing, and I ran I it tonight. It. I under, I'm not condemning Howard Dean for doing it. And I quiz Tony Snow on what Howard Dean said. I'm not condemning so him. So you don't mind. Howard Dean can come on and say, and say that Bush is using this politically. That's okay with me. Okay. And Cheney can say so a vote for Ned Lamont. Mm -hmm. So Ned it's only Lamont. newspapers no, no, no. and talk show hosts This vacation thing is a cheap shot. And, and Al-Qaeda in Connecticut but, wasn't a cheap shot? That's Cheney's uh, opinion. Oh, so it's and, okay and, when he does it, but not when the San Francisco no, Chronicle. And Ken Melman put out a fundraising yesterday on the war on terror under Giuliani's name from the RNC to fundraise and calling the Democratic Party the defeatic party? Well, the defeatist just, party in the sense that they think that Iraq is lost. Well, and they the think that we have to go in a new direction in Iraq because what new we're direction? certainly not going the right course. What direction? What new direction? The direction that Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi what direction said to the is president that? last week. Transform our mission to counterterrorism, to protecting U.S. service personnel, to amending the Constitution to make sure all three political factions are involved, to hosting an international conference for the economic right. restructuring. I don't know. I don't understand. Overact. I don't know what direction that is. I know John Murtha's direction. direction. We need a different direction. The, John Murtha's direction is direction. let's hit the road. But anyway, all right. Um, well, sixty percent of Americans. I'm glad I got I got one. I'm I'm mad at you for beating me. You know, on that, on you know on that I'm going to be gracious I'm and say you tried very hard and, and I admire you. And I'm, I'm glad we got that the uh, crazy left hurts the Democratic Party. And the crazy I, I think right, right and the crazy right, right, right doesn't hurt the Republican hurts Party. Hurts the Republican Party. Just, just too few. Only them. one side, I guess. All right. by In a moment, so will President happens. Bush's poll numbers? Dick Morris says they'll go up um, because of the new spotlight on terrorism.